Hey Taurus, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're delving into the energy of the person on your mind. What are they hiding? Okay? Take it if it's your story, leave it if it isn't. Any and everything that has to do with this channel or myself will be down below in the description box. I do want to say thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, support any kind to the brand as well as the channel is greatly appreciated. So we're going to delve into the energy crowning uh, the person on your mind. Uh, what are they hiding? going to delve into that. And I must say right through the door, Taurus, you like, yeah, what are they hiding? Because you know this individual is hiding something, okay? I'm going to tell you right through the door, this person is scheming, okay? They have bad motives, okay? They're making secretive, underhand plans on your ass. I'm sorry to say it like that, but I just feel like you already was suspecting or something, or you already like, hmm, this not sitting right, you know, with me. And I really feel like, you know, if you feel that way, then it's definitely a few messages here for you, Taurus, okay? Here we have jealousy. This person is very jealous, okay? They have bad traits and bad motives, all right? Their jealousy has become toxic. Careful, don't be too trusting. This is an individual, Taurus, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's very jealous over you. And if you've been out here dealing with other individuals, if you, if you so much have had a friend of the opposite sex, know that this individual is scheming on your ass, okay? Because they are highly jealous, okay? This is an opportunist, okay? So if they feel like you're cheating, if you got friends or any of that, they're going to go cheat on you, okay? This cheating heart will have sex with anyone that is willing, okay? And I feel like it's something about them that, you know, they're out here doing them. And I'm going to clarify that. Um, I feel like they're out here doing them. So it's like heavy on the are you doing you, though, you know? Let's clarify this opportunist energy. Okay, there's heavy flirting via text or sexting taking place, perhaps even more. So this opportunist, the person that you're dealing with, this person, how you're going to know is that this person has been hiding a phone. They've been like on social media. They've been like texting individuals, you know, on a low. And you may have been kind of catching on to that. But I'm talking to a tourist that isn't, you know, insecure, you know, and you like, well, shit, they can have friends or they could be texting family or whatever, you know, but unbeknownst to you, this person is an opportunist and they sexting somebody and they dealing with somebody. And I may say that they wholeheartedly is dealing with somebody else because they think that you are OK. They have heavy jealousy. All right. This person may be going through mental abuse and they gaslight you or send you mixed signals. OK, that's what I'm saying. Mixed signals are being sent to you. And this person may even um, say that you are abusing them mentally, you know, but I'm getting that this is somebody that does things and then points the finger. OK, yeah, this is an opportunist. OK, they are taking advantage of the circumstances. Trust your gut. That's what I'm saying. This may be an individual that is saying like, oh, you cheating on me, Taurus, you doing this, that and that next but whole time they taking advantage of the situation this is an opportunist so granted they are very fucking jealous but it opens the doorway for them to go cheat and then come back and point the finger at you all right yeah superficial they're all about the surface or appearances not having much underneath so this is somebody that's very shallow okay and they gonna go along with what whatever looks good okay but we all know what whatever glitters ain't necessarily gold OK, it says it was one time mistake and now they're feeling regretful. This person had cheated before, too. But guess what? They're going to blame it on you. That's how you know if this your person or not. OK, the past, they're laying about their past. Something worth looking into. Lies, lies, lies about this individual. OK, and then they have this immature ass behavior. They play too many games and they make it difficult for you to ground anything with them. OK, it's almost an energy like, OK. I'm not cheating. You not cheating. Let's, you know, stay like this and we're going to stay together, you know. But this person ain't immature. They like, no, nah, well, whatever you do at first and da, 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 da. And, you know, this is not somebody <laughs> that you can ground a plan with, okay, to fix things with. And I feel like smash that like button if you try to ground things with this individual before and the shit went left, okay. Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles here, I'm getting like you're an individual. Hold on. Let's see if this you, though. 
Yeah, Page of Pentacles. You tried to work with this person. You tried to get them a chance. Whether you're a male or a female, you're coming in a feminine energy. Because I believe you're receiving right now. And this person is in an action-oriented energy, okay? Even if, I'm going to say this. And don't judge me. I'm not judging you. If, even if you was doing you, you're not doing you right now. Okay? Smash that like button if that's you. And it's like a moment of clarity for you. you like, look, okay. I feel like you propose something to this individual. you like, okay, look. I know I am imperfect. I know you haven't been perfect. But look, if we're going to do this, we need to be honest with each other and we need to be a team. Okay? Like, I feel like you really spoke this to this person like because look that's what i want i want somebody that i could be locked in with you know what i'm saying but look here what you was presenting to you presenting this shit there's an offer to the damn devil <laughs> and i don't mean to lie i don't mean to laugh okay but this person is a liar okay yeah with the death card here and i feel like you're gonna be forced these are two major arcana i feel like you're gonna be forced to end something with this individual you know because this is some strong energy to try to change around this person like but i can change if you give me a commitment then i can change taurus you know and you like let's see what you're like you look, you like open yourself up, trust your intuition and cherish the journey. You over here thinking long and hard, like, is this the person for me? You know, you could even have an individual on the side that you was dealing with that you stopped dealing with because you like, oh my God, because you like, this is my person, you know? Look, I'm going to tell y'all, all these cards just fell out on the floor. Hold and on. Taurus, I usually never do this, Okay. But I'm going to keep all the cards that flipped out on the upright, okay? Because we got to see what's going on here. The bottom deck is the page of swords in reverse. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting like, you are not studying this situation to a T. Like, like this person actually got one up on you, okay? And I know that's not what you necessarily want to hear, but we're going to get into it, okay? With the six of swords here, I really feel like this person kind of tricking you a little bit. You know, you like, oh, well, maybe they could actually do this with the King of Cups here. This person is holding back their emotion. They probably got some type of emotion here. And you see how this is like a weaver. You know, they getting ready to make something with this. They didn't got that yarn on that swivel like that so they could get ready and make something. With the Eight of Swords here, somebody is in their head about what they can do with it. So this person is in their head about what they can do to influence this situation. See, they know you about to walk away. They know you at your last ends with this person okay with the ace of pentacles in reverse they know that they necessarily can't offer you shit okay and if they don't offer you the right thing you're gonna leave with the queen of cups in reverse you're gonna be like uh-uh i don't like this shit you in other words you're gonna get emotional okay and i feel like that's gonna disrupt this you know, once your emotions get involved, I feel like you're going to go off and you're going to definitely force this to end. See, with the four wands here, this person may want to, like, keep a home. Just say you stay with this individual, Taurus. This person wants to keep the home. They want to at least still live in a comfortable lifestyle, okay? But they're going to lie to your ass with the star card here. This person still wants to be held in high honor, and they want things to go in their favor, right? But this is what this whole reading is about. Somebody that's sneaky as fuck. They're going to continuously sneak around. This person act like they shit don't stink, okay? This person wants you to not know what's going on. While they out here doing their work. They, this person may even lie and say that they working now or some shit. But they out here doing them. They out here acting single like they got it with the nine of pentacles. Okay, if we part the deck with the nine of wands here, this person just going to drain you and run you. Like run you around, give you a run for your money. Because the king of pentacles is in reverse. This is somebody that is very materialistic. And it's like they would rather be with somebody just to have a certain lifestyle and still do them on the side. See, this is supposed to be your match. See, you're the queen of pentacles and you're offering this stable offer to this individual, right? But here they go. King of pentacles in reverse, right? Three of cups. This person still has a third party, okay? They still gonna do them, okay? With the five of swords at all costs. They're gonna do them, whatever they gotta do, okay? And with the nine of cups, they're in a very selfish energy, this person is being very selfish, okay, Taurus? See, I'm not ready to grow up. This pops right out. This person is not ready to grow up. They're not on your level, okay? You get this person anxiety. 
Okay, because they know they got to step up. They know they got to grow up. And at times that you and this person may just separate, you know, but they're like, we need a break, not a break up. You know, you're going to hear from me soon. It's not going to be too long that you don't hear from this individual because they they want to make sure that they spot is secured. Okay. And that they can, as soon as they find that out, then they're going to go back to doing them. Okay. Friends with benefits. This person has a lot of friends with benefits. And quite frankly, this situation between the two of y'all was damn near like a friends with benefits. It's like certain things happen and then y'all still together throughout it all. I am not judging, but at the same time, I just want you to know what's going on here, okay? I'm so attracted to you, damn. So this person could be very attracted to you, okay? You could be attracted to this individual, you know? It's definitely a sexual attraction here. I got feelings for you and you make me feel something. It's it's just like this person is pulling on your heartstrings, though. It's like they know you are attracted to them. They know they could exude this lustful uh, energy. And then it's like, then they tell you what you want to hear. See, red flags, all these damn red flags. I can't get over you that's what spirit is saying don't get caught up with this individual taurus see the red flags for what they are and then don't be in this stagnant energy like damn i can't get over you i can't let that go but what are you really letting go because it don't really look that appetizing i'm gonna hold on to i can't anymore that's what this person is trying to get you to do okay i'm being all the way honest with you taurus the bottom deck is we need to talk. So expect this person to reach out to you soon. Okay. I wish we could start over. That's what they say. I'm like, I wish we could start over. I wish we could still be what we was on. I love you. And we just need to have makeup sex and fuck it out. Watch your ass, Taurus. I told you this person is real seductive. Okay. Now, ain't nothing wrong with getting your rocks off, but at the same time, don't fall into manipulation because of this individual, okay? Moving forward, what is this person hiding from Taurus and, like, what can we expect moving forward? So, Three of Cups, you can expect this person to still have third parties, okay, while playing the same role with you, okay? This is somebody that's teetering back and forth. They having third parties, but they still playing that role with you, okay? With the hangman in reverse, they not stuck thinking about this shit, Okay, with the seven of pentacles, they already made their mind up. This is what they're going to do, okay? They're going to entertain something with you long term, and then they're still going to have their cake and eat it too, okay? With the knight of wands, this is symbolic for they still going to be going out doing them. With the three of cups, the two of cups, and the three of wands, and then the seven of pentacles, and then the hangman in reverse. This is somebody that does things without remorse. They go out and cheat without remorse in the future, as long as it's covered up. With the King of Pentacles here, this person presents themselves to be stable to you in their actions and in their choices, you know, or whatnot. But at the same time, they got a lot of secrets from the past. Six of Swords, this person tries to clear clear things up. Six, six. And seven, seven of Swords here. So this person tries to clear things up from the past. OK. In order to remain sneaky, they want to get you off their back. Okay, Eight of Swords and the King of Swords. They could be saying like, this is, why are you causing drama? You know, that's what this individual is going to say. You know, they're like, I'm tired of, you know, this thing going back and forth where you steadily blame me, da, 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 with the star card. Like they could do no wrong. You're just targeting them with the Five of Swords. I can't make this up, Taurus. All right. I would never make nothing up. I just want you to see the message for what it is, okay? And the reverse card, the moon card, okay? This is hidden things that will come to light, okay? And I see that they're showing up as red flags. With the eight of pentacles, you're really going to see what this person been working on. And when the two of swords comes in, I feel like once you once this is exposed, what this person really been doing, you're going to block their ass out. With the temperance card, I feel like you're going to work on yourself, but know that they're going to still be here wanting to work out things with you. With the three of wands, you can anticipate this person to want to work things out again because that's what they always do. With the four of pentacles here and the knight of cups, mm. And the high priestess. I feel like I feel like this is saying that you need to be um 
a little not as giving with finances when it comes to this individual. Start cutting them finances short, Taurus, and you will see the true energy of this individual. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, with the emperor here, it's like you're always providing things. With the page of cups, you're always providing things for this individual that satisfies them um, emotionally. Start pulling back. Start doing this and putting yourself first and putting the things first that you want, okay? Start, you know working on other plans and ideas that you have and other things that you want to give stability to or that will help give stability to your life and then watch how this person come with the five of wands here the two of wands and the eight of wands they gonna reach out and they be like oh you're not doing me right you're not da, da, da. it's gonna be problems there okay so just compare things to how they play out, you know, and add that shit up because it's like some of this stuff ain't making sense. And I feel like you're there, but you don't have no hardcore evidence. What else can I tell Taurus before I close out this read? You did it. I feel like you're going to accomplish a goal here. And I feel like you're going to branch away from this individual and their manipulation. Okay. You're going to start to nourish yourself. Okay. And they say, listen to your body. If your body, you around somebody and you just feel drained or you just feel like not yourself, maybe that person don't need to be around you. Maybe you need to compare how you feel when they're around and when they're not around. Maybe you need to compare like when you get a chance to just listen to how your body feel opposed to listening to somebody in your ear all the time. Okay. It says you are love. Know that you are love, Taurus. OK, and know that real love is not going to be forced. It's not going to have certain characteristics that this relationship has. OK, remember the dance, you know, um, you may need to like go to the club or something. You may need to just be around individuals where you could just move and get some of that tension about you. OK, you need to trust your intuition because your intuition is ringing about this individual. OK, trust that and then begin to accept compliments again begin to accept love again because it's like this individual they've been giving you false love and it's not giving you what you need like i feel like you somebody that needs that nourishment right now more than ever okay share your gifts okay this could be symbolic of um something that's bigger along the way so this could be symbolic of like a passion or something that you have towards that you may need to like really focus on that okay some of you all it's dance others of you all it's like photography you know or modeling Modeling, you know, it's something like that um, that is like creative a little bit, but you can add your own flair onto it. And it's just like if you're focusing on a hurt from this situation, um, then some of these things get put on the back burner. OK, and I feel like you have a lot to offer the world. OK, the bottom deck is decide because it's up to you to decide. OK, what are you going to choose to do? But remember, listen to your intuition, okay? And then spruce up your house a little bit. Clear some stagnant energy out the way. Slow down and remember to have that confidence, okay, that you need to get yourself out of this situation where you need to decide and make a choice. What are you going to do? So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support as always. Till then, peace and love.